Okay, uh, welcome back to the e-ministerial website. I'm Professor San. Uh, I wish to share with you how to identify a phishing scam effectively. If you are the IT uh, security officer or you are the risk assessor, also the IT auditor, uh, when you conduct the risk assessment or when you uh, uh, examine what is a uh, area of concern, the security uh, uh, appliance. So you need to come up with a threat uh, modeling or threat categorization on the social engineering attack. So uh, I come up with uh, some uh, approach that we can identify the phishing scam effectively. If you are uh, working on the the uh, ethanol attack factor, so we need to understand what is a, a phishing a uh, phishing uh, terminology and also its philosophy. So the phishing that uh, uh, involved with the online uh, computer game or online uh, 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 website that involved with the activity on the entertainment. So the pusher are nothing more than uh, take uh, survey identify uh, uh, safe. They can spam or malicious website email or uh, use the instant message to trick the people into the uh, uh, divulging uh, sensitive information, uh, such as uh, sensitive information or credit card information or bank information, also access to the personal uh, account. How can you know that? Uh, we are the define some uh, way to identify the uh, phishing scam. Uh, 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 first, you need to address what is a uh, uh, message come from, and the message may may uh, misleading uh, the 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 reader or the the victim uh, user that uh, present that uh, the message from the legitimate company that use the email to request the personal information and instruct the recipient to respond back uh, through the malicious uh, website. Uh, when you respond back or when you click on the on on the uh, uh, instruction uh, uh, contained on the email attachment, so the the moment you your com your computer or your device will be uh, automatically affected, and uh, some uh, uh, abnormal activity will be uh, spread out into the uh, corporate network. So the uh, the pusher trend use the emotional language uh, like a uh, scare technique or urgent request to the tactic uh, recipient to respond back. This is a way that uh, you can address uh, the, the type of the uh, phishing scam. So the next is a uh, piece side can look uh, remarkably uh, like an uh, illegitimate side. They declare that uh, they are the, prof uh, the professional. Uh, 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 engineer or uh, uh, technical support from the a certain uh, uh, company to maintain your account and you need to provide uh, 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 a corporation to assist to uh, 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 meaning that uh, they require you to re uh, log in into the website uh, that they, they can uh, maintain your account something like that so uh, the last one is a request for uh, confidential information or sensitive information via email or instant messenger that uh, this is a trend uh, to not be uh, uh, legitimate so after you run uh, after you open or run an affected uh, program or attachment you may not notice the impact on your computer right away uh, here are a few indicators that may indicate your computer has been affected. Uh, for example, your computer may run uh, more slowly uh, than uh, normal, or your device may stop responding or lock up openly, and also crash and restart every few minutes. This is just a, a, a bad sign or suspicious sign that you need to identify at your own. And also your computer restart on your own and then fall into run normally. Or you can see the abnormal error message 
uh, when you execute one uh, when you execute any service or application or you can see in accurate uh, menu or dialog box so the the the, the PC scam can 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 cause your arm full the 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 activity that lead uh, to be the fraudulent activity so a lot of malware or rootkit or or some uh, 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 trojan or worm or something like that that can uh, uh, gather your sensitive information from your uh, uh, application like uh, email or contact or uh, sensitive information that you take note uh, on your document so what what you need to handle or what to do in case of you uh, you uh, face with uh, uh, this situation so uh, uh, you may need to ask yourself uh, is your anti virus uh, scan running or are your virus definition up to that this is just a scam, uh, sample, uh, sample uh, question to ask your own that you uh, you may uh, lose some uh, 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 technical control or preventive control on your uh, 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 personal uh, uh, computer or device. So uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, the area that you need to identify what is type of a, a, a scam or phishing scam. So the purpose of the phishing scam, the fraudster need to uh, mislead you to fall into the trap and provide the sensitive information via the instruction so they uh, when you when you uh, execute as the instruction provide uh, from the email content or email attachment so the your uh, image at the moment your device or your pc will be automatically affected so uh, thank you so much for watching my video please like and share